Cube. Tonight, a frat under fire. The University of Miami investigating a possible hazing incident on their campus. At least one video circulating online shows possible fraternity brothers involved in a very disturbing act. Nico Clemens is live in Coral Gables with more on that video and reaction from students. Nico. Oh, Trina, many students by now have seen this video. The school is aware of this video, and right now they are investigating because hazing is not only serious, but prohibited on campus and illegal in the state of Florida. Oh, that's nasty. The video is disturbing. It's not something I really agree with. A young man sitting in a trash can while other young men drink a liquid and then spit it out on his back. The video appears to show hazing by a fraternity on the University of Miami's campus. The school says the fraternity is Sigma Alpha Epsilon. Students are reacting to the video. It's just not for me. The risks and dangers associated with it just isn't worth it. UM sent NBC6 a statement saying the University of Miami has received multiple reports related to alleged conduct violations by one of our fraternity chapters. We are aware of videos being circulated, but can only confirm the authenticity of one video. A full investigation is underway. Oh. In Florida, hazing is a felony or misdemeanor. The state's hazing law was passed in 2005 after the death of University of Miami student Chad Meredith four years earlier. Meredith was drunk and died trying to swim across a lake. No criminal charges were filed in his case, but a civil jury ordered the fraternity Kappa Sigma to pay Meredith's parents $12 million. No! No. In 2022, Sigma Phi Epsilon was closed on UM's campus after allegations into drugged drinks and a video showing members chanting about violence against women. Pretty much to each their own in terms of if they feel that they want to do that to make the most of their college experience. I know that that's a big part of the culture here. The students on campus say they don't want to see another tragedy happen. It's scary, but peer pressure is something that's really powerful. So we reached out to UN police. We haven't heard back from them, uh, but this is what Coral Gables police told us that they haven't worked this case because the UM hasn't responded to their request. And right now, nothing's uh, filed on paper, but Coral Gables police, they told us that UM is meeting tomorrow and they will discuss these videos. So we will follow up with them, of course, uh, on Friday. I did try to speak with a member of the fraternity here on campus earlier, uh, but he told us that they are not making a statement. In Coral Gables, Nico Clements, NBC6 News.